Hello all, this is Sherry. In this session, we are going to see about test levels. Okay, let's get into that. Test level, we can say it as a process where each level of the software is tested. The main point here is different levels. So when the software is developed, it goes through different levels. I think it's better to take an example and explain this. Before getting into the example, I just want to remind you on the software development lifecycle. Hope everyone is aware on this. If not, please watch my video on software development lifecycle and different development models. So it starts with requirement gathering from the customer, right? And then it will go through design. After that, coding would start, then testing, then deployment, and finally the maintenance. So these are the different stages. So I just want to highlight the phase coding. The entire project would be divided into different different modules and developers would start coding the individual modules. Okay, this is what usually happens. So let's consider our example. The project is about online shopping website, which I have used in my previous session as well. So the different functionalities are registration of customer in the website, placing the order by making the payment, options to modify the order or cancel the order. Okay, we will consider these three modules of functionalities in our example to understand it in a better way. As I told before, a test level is a process where each level of the software is tested. So let's get into the first level, which is component test level. In component testing, testing is performed at each components of the software. The preference of testing would be given to objects, classes, etc. So in our example, the components are customer registration, placing the order, cancellation or modification of the order. So these components would be developed separately and testing of these components by the developers is known as component testing. The testing concentrates mainly on the objects and classes which are defined for these modules. So the customer registration component would be tested separately. Then the next component placing an order that would be tested separately. Similarly, the final component in our example, cancellation or modification of the order also would be tested separately. So let's move to the next test level, integration testing. Here, the different components of the system would be integrated and testing would be performed. So in our example, all the different components like customer registration, placing an order, cancellation or modification of an order, these would be integrated together and would be tested. After integrating the components, testing ensures the flow is not affected. Usually the flow of the requirements would be like a customer who likes to buy something from the website. He register in the website first, post that, he searches for the product, he add that to the cart and he place an order by making the payment. Then if he wants to modify or cancel the order, he can do that. So this is one of the flow and by integrating the components, this flow can be tested. So the testing preference would be given to communication of the component. So if the flow is working perfectly, which means that the communication between the components are perfect, there can be different approaches for integrating the components. The first approach is Big Bang approach. In this approach, all the components would be integrated at first and then testing would be performed. In our example, all three components would be integrated in one shot and the communication between the components would be tested. Okay, the next approach is top down. In this approach, the integration starts from the top layer and it keeps on integrating the layers until the last layer is completed. So in our example, the look and feel of the product would be made available for the customer first so that it's easy for them to search the product or identify the product what they are looking for. Later on, other components like placing the order or cancellation or modification of the order, these would be integrated with this UA layer. Okay, let's get into the next approach which is bottom-up approach. This is just the opposite of top-down approach wherein the lower layer module is integrated first and it keeps on integrating until the upper layer module is completed. Okay, let's get into the final approach which is functional integration approach. So here the integration happens based on the functionality. So in our example, customer registration is one functionality. So it integrates with placing an order. So these two would be integrated and would be tested. Then modification and cancellation component would be integrated and these three would be tested. So it happens in that way. So we just discussed about the different approaches used in integration test level and the different approaches are big bang approach, top down approach, bottom up approach and finally the functional incremental approach. Okay, now we will discuss about the next test level, system testing. When all the components are integrated, then we can perform system testing. 
So it is performed on a complete integrated system or a whole system or a whole product. So the testing preference would be given to the functionality of the system. Since all the components are integrated, then the functionality can be perfectly tested here. So if there are 100 functionalities or 100 components for a project and all these 100 components are integrated, then we can start with the system testing. In our example, since we have only three components discussed, when all these three components are integrated, then we can start with system testing. Let's get into the final test level, acceptance. Acceptance testing helps in deciding whether the software can be released to the market. There are different kinds of acceptance testing. The first one is user acceptance testing. Here the testing is performed by the end users of the software. So in our example, the end users are customers who buy the product then the vendors who puts the product on the website for selling it then the people who are working in the online shopping website so these are the end users so so these section of users would be performing the user acceptance testing let's get into the next type of acceptance testing operational acceptance testing this testing helps to decide whether system meets requirement for operation like backup or recovery disaster recovery any kind of security vulnerabilities or maintenance. In our example, when customer register with the website, certain information of the customer would be captured and stored. So the shopping website should ensure that none of the information of customer is shared with any third party. So, so security and privacy should be provided for the customer information. So this testing helps to find out any security vulnerabilities. The next one is compliance acceptance testing. Here the testing would be more on the rules and regulation policies of the country where the shopping website is running. For example, if there is a policy like customers cannot buy products online if the price is greater than $50,000 for the product, then the software should be compliant to this rule. The next type is alpha and beta testing. In case of courts where feedback is required from the market before releasing it, alpha and beta testing is required. Alpha testing is performed at developer's site. Potential users and members of the developers perform the testing. They note the problems and fix it. Wherein beta testing is performed by users in real world working conditions, they send records of incidents to development organization and they repair it. So we have seen different types of acceptance testing, user acceptance testing, operational acceptance testing, complaints acceptance testing, alpha and beta testing. To summarize, we discussed about test levels and different types of test levels in this session. Please like this video if this helps you and subscribe to my channel Test Talks. I'll be coming up with more videos. Please check out. This is Sharon signing off. Thank you guys.